Do I keep a vest? Oh, okay, this is actually a good question. And I could see some people uh, taking this as a, like a troll question. This is a good question. Do you keep a vest or a helmet by your bedside next to your rifle? I want to learn more about plates and carriers. I really think that's a good question. No, neither. No. How long does it take to throw that stuff on? How long does it take for someone from to get from one side of my house to the other? My daughter's room is across the hall from mine. I would rather grab my firearm and be able to intercept whatever's happening in a quicker amount of time. So it's it's kind of like the same concept with uh, having a, a, a gun and armor and helmet in your car. So let's say you're in a theater and a shooting starts. The way I see it, it's BYG. Bring your own gun. Bring all. Bring also your support equipment. Br bring your medical stuff. Bring a bring a magazine. Bring a reload. Bring a, a powerful handheld. Because you may not have an opportunity to run away safely, and also be able to protect the people you're with. Then go to the car, gear up, and then go back. First off, you'll probably be shot by responding officers or concealed carry people in the area. If you're going to your vehicle, you put on all this stuff and then you run back in. That's kind of a bad thing. Also, one thing that I learned early on with uh, mass shootings, terrorist attacks, things like that, lives are taken every minute. So the time it takes for you to run away and then come back, how many lives were just lost? Deal with, if you can, if it's within your ability, if you've already made a decision to do it, deal with now as you can, because the sooner you're able to intervene, the sooner you can at least take the attention away from the assailant and he can focus his energies on you and hopefully some more people can get, get away safely. I'm saying this though, with the understanding that you need to take care of the people that you're with. If you're with the wife and kid, they they're going to take some priority and uh, but to be honest with you it is up to you to decide uh for me i've driven by a couple fairly bad wrecks i think about three wrecks in the last month with my daughter in the car and i had to i had to think and and keep in mind okay my daughter's in my car i can't just pull over and help because that's kind of putting her in danger uh, especially how there was no place to park I'd have to pull over to the side of the road and people kind of drive poorly when there are distractions, especially like a wreck. People usually focus on the wreck as they drive into cars in front of them. So you need to prioritize. You already have to have an idea of what you're going, how you're going to respond and what you need to do. For me personally, I need to ensure that the people that are, I am with are safe. If I'm by myself, that's another story. My wife hates it when I go to movies by myself, but well, 